U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said President Donald Trump's plan to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un next month, thrown into doubt after Trump's comments a day earlier, was still in place. We must maintain America's historic role as a truly global power, whose first instinct on overwhelming preference is to use diplomacy to solve global challenges. Pompeo said in testimony before the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee on Wednesday. We are already seeing this in the preparations for our historic meeting with North Korea, still scheduled for June 12. Our eyes are wide open to the lessons of history, but we are optimistic that we can achieve an outcome that would be great for the world. Our posture will not change until we see credible steps taken towards the complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Plans for Trump and Kim to meet in Singapore on June 12 appeared unlikely after Trump suggested that China's President Xi Jinping might have influenced Kim to take a harder line against demands that talks lead to Pyongyang's abandonment of nuclear weapons. The U.S. leader made the accusation last week and repeated it during his meetings with South Korean President Moon Jae-in on Tuesday at the White House. Trump says U.S. summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un may be delayed, it may not work out for June 12. Trump told reporters on Tuesday during his meeting with Moon. We're moving all along, Trump said. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't happen, maybe it will happen later. You never know about deals. Dot dot dot. I've made a lot of deals. You never really know. In his remarks on Wednesday, Pompeo did not reconfirm that the location for the Trump-Kim summit would be Singapore. While denuclearization of the Korean peninsula is understood by all three sides to be the goal of direct diplomatic engagement between Washington and North Korea, Pyongyang has signaled that it wants reciprocal measures by the U.S. and its military ally South Korea.